Welcome to exciting archaeology news. Prepare to be transported to a realm where legends come alive and mysteries are unveiled. Welcome to the realm of 11 greatest archaeological discoveries of 2022. Join us, your guide through time, as we embark on an exhilarating expedition that will forever reshape our understanding of the past. As we unveil the 11 archaeological wonders, remember to hit the subscribe button and join us on this mesmerizing journey through time. From the majestic ruins of ancient empires to the hidden treasures concealed beneath layers of earth, each discovery holds the power to rewrite the very fabric of history. Today, we stand at the precipice of an extraordinary adventure, ready to explore the untold stories of civilizations long lost to the annals of time. Our journey commences at the crack of dawn, where the first rays of sunlight illuminate an archaeological site teeming with untold secrets. In the far-flung corners of the globe, a team of fearless explorers prepares to venture into the unknown, armed with their tools, expertise, and an insatiable thirst for discovery. Before us lies a trove of ancient maps, manuscripts, and enigmatic artifacts, each offering a tantalizing glimpse into the enigmas of the past. As these intrepid scholars meticulously decipher the clues left behind by our ancestors, they unlock the gates to lost civilizations, painting a vivid portrait of bygone eras. With their hearts brimming with excitement and reverence, the archaeologists step foot onto sacred ground where layers of history lie entwined beneath the Earth's embrace. Armed with shovels, brushes, and a deep reverence for those who came before, they set out to unearth the remnants of ancient cities and long-forgotten wonders. With every brushstroke, every delicate touch, these guardians of the past breathe life into fragments of antiquity. Priceless artifacts adorned with intricate carvings and inscriptions whisper stories of triumph and tragedy, unveiling the extraordinary tapestry of human history. So, my fellow seekers of knowledge, join us as we embark on this epic quest, venturing deep into the realms of the unknown. From forgotten temples to lost civilizations, together we shall unravel the secrets that have long eluded our grasp. Welcome to the 11 greatest archaeological discoveries of 2022. Let the adventure begin. At number 11, our journey commences with our first discovery. The Sassanid Fire Temple. Deep within the lands of Iran, archaeologists have unearthed a treasure that unveils the glory of the mighty Sassanid Empire. Our story begins near the village of Rabat-e-Safid, where a team of experts delves into the secrets of the past. Here, amidst the dust and debris, lies the remains of a fire temple, believed to be the third largest of its kind during the Sassanid era. The magnitude of this discovery is simply astonishing. Imagine yourself transported back in time, standing with the sacred walls of this architectural marvel. The arched brick space and the hypnotizing Chahar Tak hypostyle hall are but a fraction of the breathtaking discoveries found here. Columns adorned with exquisite stucco works and capitals once graced this hallowed hall, showcasing the exceptional craftsmanship of the era. Intricate plasterwork alive with geometric patterns, vibrant plant motifs, and even depictions of humans transport us to a time when art flourished in the hands of master artisans. The Sassanid Empire, a beacon of Persian architecture and arts, witnessed a renaissance like no other. From the grand palaces of Tesiphon, Firuzabad, to Sarvastan, the world stood in awe of their grandiose proportions. Metalwork and gem engraving reached new heights of sophistication. Scholarly pursuits thrived as well, with works translated into Pahlavi, the language of the Sassanids, from both the East and West. But perhaps the most captivating aspect of this fire temple lies in its connection to Zoroastrianism, the ancient Persian religion. Zoroastrians believed that fire held great religious significance, and their prayers were performed in the presence of this sacred element. Inscriptions in Pahlavi, fragments of engraved plasterwork, and the supporting columns provide invaluable insights into the worship practices of Zoroastrians during the Sassanid era. Scholars are working tirelessly to decipher these enigmatic messages, adding another layer to our understanding of this pivotal period in Iranian history. The Sassanid Fire Temple, a portal to the ancient faith, reveals a civilization's devotion and artistic brilliance. Our quest for knowledge now takes us to the ancient lands of Peru, where the secrets of the enigmatic Wari culture lay dormant beneath the sands of time. Number 10. Tombs of the Wari Craftsmen Nestled within the stunning Castillo de Huarme, archaeologists have unearthed the burial ground that offers a glimpse into the highly skilled artisans of the Wari civilization. 
Picture yourself standing in this ancient burial ground, surrounded by adobe brick tombs that have sheltered these craftsmen for over a millennium. Here, researchers have made a remarkable discovery. Within these ancient tombs, they found the remains of four adults, two men and two women, and three adolescent burials. But it is the objects accompanying these individuals that truly capture our imagination. The primary burial belonged to a male basket weaver, a master of his craft who met his fate four centuries ago. His final resting place holds a wreath of tools, including axes, knives, saws, and a cane intricately used for basket making. But it is not just the tools that mesmerize us. In this ancient necropolis, jewelry fit for royalty was discovered. A gold headdress and a striking gold ear ornament adorned with a semi-precious stone speak of opulence and status. Close by, the burials of another male and adolescent suggest a possible familial connection. The two women were also laid to rest nearby, supporting the hypothesis of a tightly knit community. These craftsmen, although not part of the Wari royal family, held a significant status within their society. Just above their tombs lies the royal mausoleum discovered in 2010, where queens, aristocratic women, sacrificial victims, and guards with amputated feet were laid to rest. This positioning within the cemetery hierarchy showcases the immense talent and importance of these craftsmen. Known as the Gallery of Elite Craftsmen, this section paints a vivid picture of the integral role they played in Wari society. Our journey takes us now to number nine. In the heart of Mexico, an astounding discovery sheds light on the enigmatic Olmec civilization. Deep in the region of Tenosique, Tabasco, archaeologists have uncovered two remarkable Olmec reliefs, providing a glimpse into the religious and political practices of this ancient civilization. These circular limestone stones, measuring approximately 4.5 feet in diameter and weighing a staggering 1,543 pounds each, feature intricate carvings that depict local rulers engaged in ritual contortion. The Olmec civilization, known for its colossal head sculptures, thrived between 1200 and 400 BC, making it one of the earliest advanced pre-Hispanic civilizations in Mesoamerica. The faces of these local rulers with their open, grumpy mouths and crossed arms bear the symbolic representations of footprints, a diadem, corn cobs, an Olmec cross, and jaguar glyphs. The mouths, referred to as a jaw, symbolize the roar of the jaguar and indicate the importance of the depicted figures within the Olmec community. The researchers suggest that this unique style of Olmec carving may have influenced later Maya a jaw altars. The term a jaw signifies he who shouts, he who sends, and the one who orders. Interestingly, a jaw altars found at the Caracol Maya archaeological site in Belize, dating back more than three centuries, also emphasize the significance of the mouth feature. These newly discovered reliefs bear striking similarities to five other contortionist reliefs attributed to the Olmec in different regions, reinforcing the idea that these portrayals depict rulers engaged in ritual contortion. The practice of ritual contortion involved assuming postures that restricted blood and oxygen flow to the brain, inducing a trance-like state believed to grant rulers special powers. The significance of these Olmec reliefs extends beyond their artistic value. They likely originated from the middle Usumacinta region, bordered by the Chacamax River and the mouth of the San Pedro River. The discovery of these reliefs in Tenosique was made possible by an anonymous tip received in 2019, leading to their excavation and subsequent unveiling to the world. Our next stop takes us to number 8. In the ancient city of Volsi in central Italy, a team of archaeologists made a groundbreaking find that unveils the secrets of the Etruscan civilization. Nestled within the once prominent urban center of Volsi, a previously unknown Etruscan temple has emerged from the depths of history. Measuring 45 meters by 35 meters, this newly discovered temple is located west of another sacred building known as the Etruscan Tempio Grande. The northeast corner of the temple's foundation walls, constructed with large tough blocks, has been unearthed, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the grandeur of this ancient religious structure. Dating back to the end of the 6th or the beginning of the 5th century BC, the newly discovered temple shares a comparable size and alignment with the Tempio Grande, making it an exceptional find. This duplication of monumental buildings within the Etruscan city offers the importance of religious and cultural practices during that era. In addition to the temple, the excavations have revealed evidence of early Iron Age occupation, potentially connected to Volsi's earliest stages. 
The site has also yielded various architectural terracottas, including campana slabs depicting Bacic themes from the early Imperial Roman period, the discovery of locally produced Puchero wares, Etruscan geometric and Etrusco-Corinthian pottery, and imported ceramics from Attica further highlights Volsi's vibrant trade connections across the Mediterranean. The ongoing excavations at the newly discovered Etruscan temple promise to deepen our understanding of Etruscan religious practices and shed light on the intricate cultural tapestry of Volsi. And now, let's delve into two more remarkable finds that shed light on the intriguing history of ancient Egypt. At number seven, we have the tomb of the mercenary commander. In the sands of Abyssar, Egypt, a team of dedicated archaeologists have uncovered the tomb of Wahibre Meri Neith, a high-ranking commander of foreign mercenaries from over 2,600 years ago. This remarkable discovery provides us with a rare glimpse into the social dynamics of ancient Egypt and its connections with foreign cultures. Inside the tomb, archaeologists stumbled upon an extraordinary find, the largest embalming cache ever discovered in Egypt. More than 370 pottery storage jars were found, containing various materials used in the mummification process. Although the mummy of Wahabre Merineth was stolen in antiquity, remains of his sarcophagus bearing hieroglyphic inscriptions were located. These inscriptions identify the commander and include a quote from the Book of the Dead, shedding light on ancient Egyptian beliefs and rituals surrounding death and the afterlife. Wahabre Meri Neith's role as a commander of foreign mercenaries point to the cosmopolitan nature of ancient Egypt. It suggests his involvement in overseeing and commanding troops from the Aegean Islands in Asia Minor, highlighting the engagement of ancient Egypt with foreign cultures. While the exact time period remains uncertain, possibilities range from the late 26th dynasty to the early 27th dynasty. This period witnessed both Egyptian independence and Persian conquest. Wahabre Marinit's local descent raises intriguing questions about his connection to the ruling authority of the time. The tomb also yielded significant artifacts, including 402 faience shabdi figurines, a heart scarab, an amulet, and an ostracon inscribed with spells from the Book of the Dead. These objects further provide insights into the religious and funerary practices of Wahabre Marinit's era. As we move forward in our quest, be prepared for more astonishing archaeological discoveries that will transport you to the mysteries of the past. At number six, our next destination takes us south of Abusir to the world-renowned Saqqara, the ancient burial grounds of kings and high officials where five extraordinary painted tombs have come to light. The five well-preserved painted tombs at Saqqara, nestled at the foot of the Djoser Pyramid, offer a captivating glimpse into the lives of senior officials from the Old Kingdom and the first intermediate period of ancient Egypt. Believed to date back as early as 2700 BC, these discoveries include not only exquisite paintings, but also small statues, pottery, stone, and wooden coffins. The hieroglyphic inscriptions found within these tombs hold valuable information about the individuals buried there, providing us with a unique window into their lives. Among the painted scenes, we find representations of people, jars, food, and even a winged insect. These vibrant depictions offer insights into the daily life and beliefs of this ancient era. One of the tombs belonged to a senior official named Irie. Although the limestone sarcophagus was found in fragments, archaeologists are diligently working to gather the pieces in any remaining human remains. The other tombs unveil intriguing individuals as well. Yarit's tomb is presumed to belong to the wife of a high-ranking official, while Pepe Nefhani served as a supervisor of the Great House, possibly the Pharaoh's palace. A priestess named Betty, or Petty, who dedicated her life to the service of the goddess Hathor, was also discovered. And let's not forget Hanu, the supervisor of the royal palace. The five painted tombs at Saqqara offer a remarkable insight into ancient Egyptian history, revealing the roles and beliefs of these influential individuals. As we continue our journey, get ready to unearth more hidden treasures and unravel the enigmatic stories of our ancestors. At number five, our next destination takes us to ancient China, where the remnants of the late Shang Dynasty lay waiting to be uncovered. In the heart of China's Loess Plateau, on the Eleven Hills in Shaanxi Province, a team of dedicated archaeologists have unearthed a sprawling 3,200-year-old site that once housed a regional power during the Bronze Age. Their findings have been hailed as a breakthrough in Shang Dynasty archaeology. 
As the archaeologists delve deeper, they reveal the remains of rammed earth buildings, cemeteries, and even bronze casting workshops. But it was the tombs that held the most astonishing treasures. Within these sacred tombs, nine high-ranking nobility burials were discovered, providing a glimpse into the elite of late Shang society. The excavations yield a trove of precious artifacts that shed light on burial customs and cultural connections. Among the remarkable finds were accessories fixed to horses and chariots, such as intricate bronze decorations. These artifacts offer valuable insights into the development of burial customs and the role of chariots in late Shang society. Studying these objects revealed striking stylistic similarities to those found at Ying Zhu, the capital of the Shang dynasty. The bronze, lacquerware, and bone objects discovered at the Loess Plateau site provided evidence of a highly developed Bronze Age civilization in northern Shangxi. The excavation in Shangxi has proven to be of immense significance, shedding new light on the political and geographical structure of the Shang dynasty. This dynasty holds a special place in Chinese history, being the earliest known dynasty with solid archaeological and textual evidence. At number four, our journey now takes us to the land of ancient Parthia, where a team of archaeologists has made a stunning discovery near the Al Sawari Air Base in Iraq. This 150 day excavation has unveiled a hidden gem from the Parthian era, a period that bridged cultures and flourished along the famed Silk Road trade route. As the archaeologists explored Abu Ghafil, they unearthed the remains of a manufacturing and residential settlement, providing valuable insights into the material culture and history of this era. Over 200 artifacts were recovered, including a significant find of 233 items, now housed at the Iraq Museum in Baghdad. One of the notable discoveries was a typical Parthian jar with a tipped base, showcasing the exquisite craftsmanship of the period. Iraq boasts a vast number of archaeological sites, but excavating them requires substantial resources, which have been hindered by various challenges over the years, such as political instability and recent global events. This excavation in Al Sawari serves as a reminder of the rich heritage and cultural diversity of Iraq's eastern regions, which have often been overshadowed by the focus of the ancient Tigris and Euphrates area. At number three, our next discovery takes us to the beautiful region of Genderland in the Netherlands, where archaeologists have unveiled a remarkable Roman sanctuary, shedding light on the lives of Roman soldiers who once called this land their home. The Herwin Hemeling Sanctuary this magnificent complex stands as the most complete Roman sanctuary ever found in the Netherlands, offering a glimpse into the religious practices and daily lives of Roman soldiers from around 55 BC to around 410 AD. Nestled beneath the earth, the Herwen Hemeling Sanctuary reveals a series of beautifully painted temples dedicated to various gods and goddesses. These temples were vital spaces where Roman soldiers expressed their gratitude to the divine through stone altars. Here, archaeologists have uncovered numerous stone altars, each inscribed with dedications to different deities. Through painstaking efforts to piece together fragmented altars and translate the inscriptions, researchers have identified dedications to Hercules, Magusanus, Jupiter, Serapis, and Mercury. The presence of Hercules Magusanus is particularly intriguing as it connects both the Roman god Hercules and the Germanic deity Magusanus. This blend of cultures and beliefs reflects the dynamic nature of the Roman Empire. The excavation of the sanctuary has exceeded expectations, unearthing approximately 80,000 artifacts. Among these remarkable finds are a stone staircase leading to a large well, remnants of large sacrificial fires, and an unprecedented number of limestone sculpture fragments. One notable discovery is the head of a sculpture which showcases the artistic prowess of the Roman period. Additionally, artifacts such as horse harnesses, armor pieces, jewelry, coins, and even 13,000 fragments of roof tiles have been unearthed, painting a vivid picture of daily life at this ancient sanctuary. The process of documenting and studying all of the artifacts discovered at the Herwin Hemling Sanctuary will take several years. Archaeologists began sharing their findings on social media in 2022, and they plan to continue sharing their discoveries with the public over the next two years, allowing everyone to marvel at this exceptional Roman complex and its significance in the history of the Netherlands. As we continue our journey through the greatest archaeological discoveries of 2022, stay tuned for two more marvelous revelations that illuminate our shared human history.
Our next stop takes us all the way back to the ancient land of Egypt, where a captivating discovery beneath the sands has unveiled an underground world steeped in mystery and wonder. Number 2. The Tunnel at Taposiris Magna Archaeologists recently unearthed a hidden treasure at Taposiris Magna, an ancient Egyptian temple dedicated to the god Osiris. This remarkable find promises to rewrite the history books and provide insights into the religious practices and engineering marvels of the time. Led by Kathleen Martinez from the University of Santo Domingo, the excavation uncovered an underground tunnel stretching an impressive 4,300 feet. Situated approximately 43 feet beneath the temple's surface, this intricate passageway revealed the secrets of the past. The Taposiris Magna Tunnel reveals a vast religious complex featuring three sanctuaries, a sacred lake, and an astonishing array of artifacts. Among the 1,500 objects discovered were busts, statues, golden pieces, and a splendid collection of coins depicting notable figures like Alexander the Great, Queen Cleopatra, and the Ptolemies. Two alabaster statues from the Ptolemaic era, numerous ceramic vessels, and pots were also among the notable finds. These artifacts provide valuable insights into the religious and cultural practices of ancient Egypt. The underground tunnel itself is a marvel of engineering, often described as a geometric miracle. Interestingly, parts of the tunnel are submerged underwater, likely due to seismic events that occurred between 320 and 1303 AD, causing the collapse of the temple. Taposiris Magna has long been a site of archaeological significance. Previous excavations have yielded coins featuring Cleopatra VII and Alexander the Great, statues of the goddess Isis, mummies with golden tongues, and even a cemetery containing Greco-Roman-style mummies. The burial location of the famed Cleopatra and her lover Mark Antony, who died in 30 BC, remains a mystery. Taposiris Magna has been speculated as a potential resting place for these legendary figures, further adding to its historical allure. And now we come to the grand finale of our journey through the greatest archaeological discoveries of recent times. Join us as we unveil the breathtaking find that has captured the imagination of historians and archaeologists alike. Number 1. Strabo's Fable Temple to Poseidon In the heart of southern Greece, archaeologists have made a momentous discovery that could rewrite the history books. It is believed that they have uncovered the long-lost temple of Samian Poseidon, a sacred site described by the ancient Greek historian Strabo in his work Geographica. Strabo's account highlighted the temple as a critical center of religious and ethnic identity for neighboring states, serving as a focal point for the Amphictyonic League. This league was an alliance of neighboring states in the Triphylia area of the Peloponnese. Since 2017, a dedicated team comprising the Ephorate of Antiquities of Elis in Greece and the Athens branch of the Austrian Archaeological Institute has been working tirelessly to uncover the secrets of this ancient sanctuary. Their efforts have borne fruit with the recent discovery of the temple's foundations at the Acropolis of the ancient city of Samacon, also known as Samacum. The temple's foundations, measuring approximately 31 feet wide with walls over 2 feet thick, provide tangible evidence of an archaic temple, possibly dedicated to the mighty sea god Poseidon. Excavations have also yielded fragments of a laconic roof and a marble perihantarian, a water basin used for rituals both dating back to the archaic period. Architectural features typical of ancient temples, such as a proneos and two inner rooms, including a cella filled with a layer of tiles, have been identified. These remarkable findings not only validate the ancient accounts of Strabo, but also shed new light on the political and economic significance of the Trephelian cities Amphictyani during the 6th century BC. The joint archaeological efforts are set to continue until 2026 as both teams delve deeper into the topography of Samacon and search for the ancient harbor associated with the site. The discovery of the Temple of Samian Poseidon not only provides tangible evidence for the existence of this fabled sanctuary, but also offers invaluable insights into the historical and cultural importance it held for the region. It illuminates the religious and ethnic identity of the Trephelian cities, as well as the political dynamics of the era. As we conclude our journey through the greatest archaeological discoveries, we are reminded of the profound impact these findings have on our understanding of the past. From the Temple of Samian Poseidon to the tombs of Wari craftsmen, 
Each of these remarkable discoveries reflects the awe-inspiring human ingenuity, the unwavering faith of ancient civilizations, and our insatiable quest to unravel the mysteries of our shared history. Through the meticulous work of dedicated archaeologists and historians, we have been transported to distant eras peering into the lives of those who came before us. Each artifact, each temple, and each tomb offers a glimpse into the social structures, the artistic prowess, and the grand narratives of our ancestors. That wraps up our show for today, but our exploration of the past is far from over. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the greatest archaeological discoveries of 2022. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more captivating content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Remember, the journey into the unknown continues and countless stories are waiting to be unearthed. Together, let us delve deeper into the mysteries of history, unraveling the secrets of ancient civilizations one discovery at a time, one artifact at a time. Thank you for watching, and until our next adventure, stay curious, stay passionate, and keep exploring.